back again at the handlebar hanging out with Trey and Jess and of course our friend Alan Paletti who's going to show you guys I believe we taught this over a decade ago before you guys even became fans so this is one of my old favorites but I can't wait to see Alan's version oh, of it. Oh man I'm excited to show it. Okay I need a helper for it though who's, the, who's my helper? I think it's my turn. Okay so pick a deck. All right I'll take this one. Okay all right crack it open. And this is called You Do As I Do. So do exactly like I do, okay? Mine's gonna be a little less pretty, but I'm, I'm in. Oh, you're doing great! <laughs> <laughs> I was in my earlier comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I loved everything about what just happened. That was amazing. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Perfect, okay. that was a great right. shuffle. All right, switch your decks. Pick up your deck. And then you're gonna go through and you're gonna look for a card. Any card you want. Any card I want. I don't wanna see it. Please show it to everyone else. Can I help? Can I produce? Please. All right, all right. See anything you like in here? Yeah, this this dude. Oh, you like that this guy? This dude is a recent divorcee. Oh. Okay. Yep. So take your card. Okay. Put your deck down. Okay. Get your card down, face down on top. And cut. And complete the cut. Now we switch. All right. Go ahead and take it. it. All right. Now go back through the red deck and find your card again. All right, yep. Okay. Perfect. On three, we turn them over. Hold on, hold One. on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, <laughs> for the record, I did not, I mean, I helped on picking that card, but no, this no. was not set no, up. No, not, yeah. And this is not. I'm gonna be pissed when you turn over One, my card. two, three. <laughs> what did I just say? All right, do you guys want to learn this I'm one? I'm excited to learn I'm how you just swindled me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Toast Queen, we're going to learn. Toast, 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 toast. toast. All right, Jess, not going to lie, you look a little butt hurt. Was it a good trick? It was a great trick. Okay, uh, so so how mad are you, though? I'm a little, I'm a little mad. A little mad, okay. <laughs> if you want to make somebody a little mad, this is a good this trick. This is a good one. That. The end result was amazing. Okay, all right, walk us through this one. It uh, uses something called a key card, but we'll get to that in a second. You can really take any deck you want. Okay, so let's just kind of run through. Okay, okay. The red deck, okay. Open it up. So uh, you give it a shuffle. Everything's totally legit, okay. And I did a great shuffle, That's just great. like last time. Now, here's the important part. Whenever I'm finishing shuffling my deck and squaring it up, I'm taking note of what the bottom card is. Yeah. In this case, the three of hearts. So that's all I have to remember, okay? So now I'm going to give you, I'm gonna put my cards down. You're gonna take your deck. Yeah. I know where the three of hearts is on the bottom. Okay. So okay. this is the yeah, whole yeah. thing. He will not know what our card is. No. He only knows one thing, and that's that the three of hearts is on the bottom, and two, that he's the one telling us what actions to take at any given time. That's right. Let's go ahead and pick the king of clubs again. Yeah. So the only thing that I know is that three of hearts is on the bottom. It's important that that stays on the bottom, so you really want to create a condition where people are following your directions exactly. So whenever I say, okay, well, let's, let's switch, and I keep iterating, yes, it's called you do as I do. The only way right. this trick works is if you do exactly what I do. All I'm thinking is three of hearts, three of hearts, three of hearts, that's all I care about. But you're going to be doing as I do. So I'm going to go through and I'm gonna pull out a card. You don't know what it is. For you, it's gonna be whatever card you want it to be. Right. For me, it's just gonna be some random card. I don't even look it at it because I don't, yeah. want to re I don't want to misremember right. what the key card is. So for us, uh, uh, wait, yeah, we'll grab the same card. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, now this is interesting. You put it back on the bottom, which you, I guess you watching would notice that I would notice if you did that. Yeah. At which point yeah. you would say, great, just cut the cards. And you know, sometimes the key card does change, but if he's holding it like this and puts it down, I just have to remember a new card. Right. That's it. So as long as I know what the bottom card is, I'm fine. I know it's the three of hearts because he went boop like that. I'm still good. I like to do those checks on, on obviously. Yeah. Right. And then I say, okay, put your card on top, cut the deck. And I demonstrate because people cut the deck all kinds of different right. strange ways. Sure. And then complete the cut. That's one of those moments that I might do a little bit of a kind of a jerk thing and say, you get to this moment and you're about to move and then you pause and you say, let's see how precisely you can copy me. And then you make a moment of this. And then now all they're gonna wanna do is exactly copy. Because they're mocking you in a yeah, way. Well, yeah. well, they don't wanna screw it up because, sure, sure, sure. because if they, they're afraid of you mocking them, we're like, yeah, <laughs> sure, that's roughly the same. This guy, am sure, I right? Yeah. Okay, so then all I'm remembering, three of hearts, three of hearts, I say, let's switch back. And you'll take your deck. And now this is an important point because now that all the moves have happened or all the places have happened, the immediate thing they're going to think about is backtrack to that last, that last time you had the deck. 
So I make a point never to touch the cards, even to hand them to somebody, because I don't want anybody thinking I'm doing anything funny in that moment. So I let them take their cards first. And then I pick up mine, and then all I'm looking for is the three of hearts. I say, hey, go ahead and find your card in that deck. And of course, you're looking for the three of hearts, but you're not really interested in the three of hearts. What you care is the next card. Right. And meanwhile, we're distracted, like yeah. trying to I'm find our I'm still trying to find mine. He's way over yeah, there. And I'm, I'm uh, Captain Eagle Eye over here. I can't, oh, that's, <laughs> it's four cards from the bottom. That was a weird cut. OK, so I'm worried about that. I'm worried about the card to the direct uh, right. And the way I remember that is the right card is on the right. The right card's on the right. So then I pull my card out like that, or your card out. Put the deck down, and this is all the buildup. This is all the drama is right here. Say on three, we're gonna turn them over at the same. What's great is by this point we get to enter the magical realm of time delay, where very quickly I'm already forgetting about the shuffling and the cutting and the picking right. and the switching and all that stuff. But but I'm dialed in on this moment where all you have to do is remind him, you picked a card, I picked a card. What if they were the same card? Then I'm like, thank you. Uh, I wonder if that's the case. Yes! <laughs> so good. All right, so the question is, which one of you guys is going to perform this for us? I think I've got this. All right, okay. right on, right on. All right, so it's my turn. Let's do this again. Let's, uh, you pick your, your deck first. OK, which I'll one take this you one. Like? All right, I'll take this one. Go ahead and open that up and give it a good shuffle. Psst, what's the trick called? This trick is called, you do as I do. And the, yes. the important part here is you copy exactly what I do. So I'm yeah. going to give it a good shuffle. You better do as he does. You just did. That was really weird. Both of you dropped one card at the exact same time. <laughs> hey, I'm, I do what I'm told. I'm, not I'm married. I don't, I don't mess All around right, with that. Let's give it a great shuffle. All right. So okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you to go through and just pick your favorite card in there. Pick a great card that you, you want here. And you're going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the exact because same thing. Because this is you do as I do. This is you do as I do. Yeah. Okay. So that I found my card here. And why don't you just go ahead and put it on the top of the deck there. Sweet. And now give it a good cut. Cut it just like that. There you go. All right, now you go ahead and take my deck, and I'll take yours. OK. And now I want you to go through and find your card. I forgot to look for the key card. What was the key card? I did. I watched while he was shuffling. It was the 10 of hearts. OK, go, go, go. All right, we'll go ahead and set it down. We both have a full deck. We both shuffled it. We both cut the cards. What are the chances that we both pick the same card here? A little bit. Let's find out. One in a million. Hey! hey. <laughs> so good! Dude, very well done. All right, Alan, where can we see so much more of your amazing stuff? Oh, you can find me on uh, YouTube on The Magic Minute. So just search The Magic Minute anywhere you'll find it. <laughs> Thank you.